I'd like to welcome everyone here for our ribbon cutting ceremony for our new Performing Arts Center. This is an important day for us, not only for our performing arts groups, but also for our entire school. And I appreciate y'all coming here to, to share in this event with us. At this time, uh, we would like to have the Horn Lake High School Marine Junior ROTC. They will be coming forward to present the colors, followed by the national anthem that will be played today by the DeSoto Central High School Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Dennis Cox. School Junior ROTC and our So Central High School Band for their performance today. As a high school principal, I tell people all the time that it's impossible to have a successful high school without a supportive superintendent and a supportive school board. And at the So Central High School, we're very lucky that we have the best superintendent in the state of Mississippi, and we also have the best school board in the state of Mississippi. And it's my pleasure to introduce to you at this time our superintendent of education. Mr. Milton Karkendall. Being here today to cut the ribbon on this building is a dream come true for me. Something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I appreciate all of you being here with me to uh, help uh, celebrate this great day. I want to introduce some people that may not be on the program today with us. Mr. Austin has already mentioned our wonderful school board, and we do have the best school board in the world. They work very hard, very dedicated. They, they get rich. They make a grand total of $2,400 a year. And, I, and so they, they're very deserving of everything in it. I want to introduce them. Uh, Mr. Theron Long is a board member. <laughs> Mr. Milton Nichols, one of our board members. We've done a lot with performing arts. With this building being completed, every high school now has an opportunity to use a performing arts building for their drama, their chorus, and the many different things performing arts participates in. I want to uh, remind you that there's a direct correlation between performing arts and student achievement. And these kids that perform and all the things I'm talking about with performing arts get scholarship after scholarship, and we're very proud of all of their accomplishments. In a, in a few minutes, you'll hear the award-winning uh, DeSoto Central High School Choir. They're a very good group, and they'll be singing for us. But with all of that said, I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to thank all the people. The way we built this uh, is this building. We ran a bond issue in 2008 for $60 million to build five high schools. Well, we did such a good job, I guess, building them, we had half a million dollars left. So we put that $500,000 and we put some money with it and built this building. And all the other high schools that were built, they had a performing arts building built in when we built them. Uh, 
the uh, only perform only school we had access to performing arts building when I took office was Olive Branch, uh, and that building is located at the middle school. But we appreciate all of you. We appreciate everyone involved, and appreciate you being here today. Thank you. I'd also like to take this time to thank uh, some other people that are in attendance today. Todd Fullwood with Fullwood Construction was the contractor for this. I'd like to thank them for all their hard work. He and his construction crew did a wonderful job, and they also were very considerate of our students and teachers, and we didn't have any disruption to the school day as a result of the construction. I know that was a difficult task for him, but he worked with us, and I really appreciate that. I'd like to thank our National Honor Society. They raised over $3,300. It will be spent toward the enhancement of our Performing Arts Center over the next few months. So thank you to the National Honor Society. <laughs> Mr. Ross, if you'll raise your hand. David Ross, the GCA in the back. They're our crew that gets the school clean and has it looking as great as it does every day. Thank you, Mr. Ross. <laughs> and if our teachers and staff would raise your hand. The teachers and staff that are here, I appreciate all y'all doing it every day. Thank you. Mr. Kirkendall mentioned academic success just a minute ago. DeSoto Central High School has been a star school for the last three years. That is the highest ranking academic award that a school can receive. And there's only 11 high schools in the state of Mississippi that have received that award all three of the last years. And DeSoto Central High School is one of those 11. So that puts us in a class with the elite high schools in the state of Mississippi. Uh, but when we talk about academic success, the students that are in here, uh, they know how I feel about how extracurricular activities tie in with that. We've got a saying at the Soto Central High School that when you play one of us, you play all of us. And that ties in with our extracurricular activities, but I, as a principal, know that the, the better our, that our students do in their extracurricular activities, they'll perform even better in the classroom academically. Those two things are tied together. And so at the Soto Central High School, we place a, an emphasis on that. We look at this Performing Arts Center as a way that will enhance our entire performance, Performing Arts program. We've got our theater students that are right in front of me. If you'll raise your hand, theater students, we give y'all a round of applause. They have already won multiple awards and they were one of the first groups that we showed this facility to when it was turned over to us. They're very excited about this. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kirkendall mentioned our award-winning choir. Let's give them a hand. Our choir just returned from New York City a couple of weeks ago. They were invited to perform at Carnegie Hall in New York City, a great honor for our choir, and they've uh, been winning awards all year as they go throughout competition. And our state championship, the Southern Central High School Band, will give them another round of applause. As Mr. Kirkendall mentioned, they have won the last two 6A state championships in Mississippi. And all three of these groups, our choir, our theater group, and our band will be using the New Performing Arts Center. We know that it's going to be something that's going to enhance all those programs. Also, there'll be other events that we, we hold here, such as uh, our National Honor Society induction, Mu Alpha Theta induction, our senior recognition ceremonies, our awards nights, our beauty pageant. There'll be a lot of events that we have here in this building that we haven't been able to host before on campus. It's all because of the efforts of our superintendent, our school board, and our community members for the emphasis that they're putting on performing arts, and we really do appreciate that. Upcoming events that we have that will be in here, our theater department is scheduled to present Alice in Wonderland. That will be at 7 p.m. on May 4th and May 5th. Those will be the, that'll be the first event, official event, in our building after the ribbon cutting. And our band will have their jazz band concert in here at 7 p.m. on May 11th. So if you get a chance to come out and see either of those groups perform, I know that you'll be excited to see them. And uh, as we talked about, as you can see, it's not only going to be something for just our performing arts groups, but also our entire school. And, and I want to thank again Mr. Kirkendall and our school board for all their efforts in getting that done. Thank you. Appreciate that. time I would like to introduce Miss Sandy Brent and Miss Diane Coleman Horn. They're with the Daughters of the American Revolution.
afternoon. Our chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution is donating 10 flat American flags this year to the Soto County Schools. And today we'd like to present this flag for the new DeSoto Central Performing Arts Center. Our students realize that we have a fairly new school and we're trying to develop traditions here and that's one of the fun parts about DeSoto Central High School. Their, the first graduating class was in 2006 so we've only seen six classes go through and, and as principal over the last three years I've seen our students start new traditions and as I said that's an exciting part about it because our school hasn't been in place for 30 or 40 years so our students can, can start these traditions and then come back years from now and see those in place. One of these new traditions is the incorporation of our alma mater into our school life. Any of you that have been to a football game before, one of the things that our football team cheerleaders and band have started is at the end of every football game, the football team, the cheerleaders, they go together to our band and along with the student body, they sing the alma mater. Next year, we're gonna to try to incorporate the alma mater even more into our, uh, our school events. And if you come to our graduation ceremony this year, you'll see that our choir performing the alma mater for our seniors and our guests. And at this time, I would like to ask Ms. Morgan, I'll turn it over to her as our choir will perform her alma mater. proud of our new Performing Arts Center. I'm very appreciative of Mr. Kirkendall and the school board for this new facility and I know that our students and teachers are also. It's going to be something that's going to enhance our entire school, not just Performing Arts, but, but everyone. Uh, our theater group, our band, our choir, they're all going to be using this facility. We're also going to use it for academic award events also and, and I'm a true believer that extracurricular activities help with academics. Uh, the more successful that we are extracurriculars, will also be successful academically. We've got a star school. We've been a star school for the last three years, and I know that extracurriculars play a, play a big part in that. It's a great day to be a Jaguar. 